As I'm fond of saying, if I'm not learning something new every day, I'm either not paying attention or I'm not trying. Today, I'm installing frets on the last of six SE Touring instruments. They are 14 fret parlor guitars with 22 fret slots. Accordingly, the uh, fret boards have a total of 22 frets, just like a Gibson Les Paul, and all of them are accessible thanks to the Florentine uh, cutaway. They fit, incidentally, into the overhead compartment of small regional jets as carry-on baggage. So there's no sweating bullets worrying about checking your instrument. And uh, I'm kind of thinking they're overachievers. Today I learned that for the foreseeable future, I will not be installing frets like this. Over the years, I've tried a number of different methods for installing frets, hammers and pliers and arbor press with CA glue, with tight bond, with glue, and with no glue at all. I've tried installing frets directly on the fretboard alone, on a fretboard glued to the neck, and on a fretboard glued to the neck and bolted to the body. What I have learned is that I really just plain old love my Harbor Press. It's quiet, it's got a lot of powerful fret setting mechanical advantage going on, and no bone jarring or neck rattling pounding involved whatsoever. So, I really don't like cleaning up CA glue, especially after you've sanded the fretboard to 800 grit. So my plan for installing frets going forward is to run a bead of tight bond glue into each fret slot with a glue syringe and then install them with my favorite arbor press directly onto the fretboard. Clean up the tight bond squeeze out, then clamp to a flat surface with a 16 inch radius beam overnight. So that's my plan until I learn something new about uh, installing frets. In the meantime, what's key for frets, frets, boards, and necks is flat and straight. <laughs>